Welcome back guys, Sim Football Critic here, and as you can see, playing some All Pro Football 2K8, and you know, when I play this game, I usually like to play at stock, you know, stock teams and things like that, you know, it was a time when I used to use customized teams, but at this point, man, I just play stock teams, play it the way that it came out the box, and you can still enjoy it. And every now and then I like to come back to this game, man, and use it for reference material, because there's definitely still things in this game that I think was done very well. And I would like to see in the current football products, you know, being Madden, as well as, you know, if the Joe Montana game actually does come out on console. These are things that you want to see in these games, man. Things that they need to take from 2K8 that had a lot of principles. Now, let me stop you before you get started. I know there's some people out here that are going to lash out and say this game sucked and blah, blah, blah. Listen, man, we all understand every game has flaws. This game had numerous flaws. There were a ton of flaws that I even saw while playing this game but nevertheless you have to point out the things that were done well in the football aspects so as you can see here guys i'm just going to show you the details and show you why this game is still relevant you know first and foremost the subtle movement by the quarterback and i like how he winds up you know that was one thing that i loved about this game is you know depending on how far you're throwing the ball they had different throwing and you know animations and mechanics depending on how far down the field that you're throwing it but we're going to take a look at the uh, receiver. That's really the highlight of this video. And of course, like I do in every video right here, I'm just going to point out a couple things that, you know, could be a little questionable. Of course, guys, this game is no longer in print. It's irrelevant to <laughs> really point out any flaw. But like I said, you know, this is just my style. You know, any game that I see, I'm going to showcase things that I would like to see improve in current day products. So what I would love to see, man, in current football, I like to see these guys make more decisions and make more anticipation, you know, like acts, you know, instead of just being locked into their certain zone areas. All right, now let's take a look at the highlight of this video, and these are the reasons why this game is still relevant. Just take a look at this receiver here. You know, look at how he's going to locate the ball and play the ball and, you know, and, and get himself in position to make this catch. See, these are the details, man. You know, in this game, you can throw the ball well before your receiver is ready for it, and they will make a play for it. They'll get ready for it. They will, you know, they will adjust to wherever the ball is. If they can't get to it, they won't get to it. You know, it, it's a realistic outcome. And as you can see here, he looks back for the ball. He notices that the ball is coming on the opposite side, makes the subtle adjustment there, and that's what you get. Great stuff, man great stuff all right so i just want to showcase that and yes guys i do see that shift and morph right there <laughs> all right let me know what you think don't forget guys every thursday night 8 p.m eastern sim standard radio if you want to reach us you can give us a call at 914-338-0794 for more content click the link above